down from his cave with a sour, grinchy frown at the warm, lighted windows below in their town. For he knew every who down in Whoville beneath was busy now, hanging a holly who wreath. And they're hanging their stockings, he snarled for the sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas. It's practically here. Max, we must find a way to stop Christmas from coming. All this scrappy, happy behavior is so unbecoming. Scrappers getting all crafty with their little dogs by their side. Makes me want to eat maggots from a flu flopper and go hide. You probably have bedazzled pages with your furry little pets. Don't you know these creatures are only good for running up debt? Show me your page with your pet as the feature. For the life of me, I'll never know why you love this creature. Like the Grinch himself, Max originated in the 1957 book. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. According to Jim Henson's puppet series, The Wubulous World of Dr. Seuss, the episode The Grinch Meets His Max reveals that the Grinch took Max in as a pet when Max started scratching an itchy part of the Grinch's back that he couldn't reach. The Grinch scared them off. And they all stayed away. So the Grinch was alone each night and each day. Companions, not one. Not goldfish or leech. Just that pesky old itch that he couldn't quite reach. Alone's what he wanted to gristle and glower. Alone's what he was, all alone in his tower. Then, one day, anyone naturally but it didn't scare this pup no no not he for some unknown reason this dog liked the Grinch where others would shudder this dog wouldn't flinch <laughs> Even the Grinch. And you heard him. It's contest time! The Grinch wants to see your scrapbook pages featuring your pet. It can be any pet, furry or not. Post photos of your pet scrapbook pages in this video thread to be considered for this contest. We have more contests to come. Be sure to get your comments in by midnight tonight. <laughs>